Right, so we're moving now down the leg to the mid-metacarpal region. That's really zones 2A and 2B. There's nothing anatomically distinct about these zones, so the only way that we know that they're the ones we're, we're imaging uh, really is, is the fact that we've measured from the accessory carpal bone, uh, roughly speaking. So 2A is around 7 to 10 centimetres from the accessory carpal. It will vary slightly depending on the size of the horse. Um, if we find ourselves there, it's just basically slightly proximal to, to halfway down the cannon bone. And as before, if we just optimise our image and then freeze, again, we can see those structures that we've been seeing before. Uh, right at the top of the screen, we've got the skin and superficial digital flexor tendon. Below that, we've got the deep digital flexor tendon, and they're much the same as they were higher up the leg, with the exception that perhaps the uh, superficial flexor tendon is just starting to, to thin out more. Below the deep digital flexor tendon, we still can see the remnants of the uh, carpal sheath. It's getting thinner as we come distally down the leg, but it will still be visible in zones 2A uh, and, and also 2B, just about. Below that, we've got the inferior check ligament, and again, Below that, we've got the, the suspensory ligament. They're both still rectangular, but just starting to, to flatten out and, and get wide. So again, we've, we've got the edges of those missing. If we unfreeze, we'll come down to zone 2B, and that really is mid-cannon, or just distal to mid-cannon. So perhaps, say, 10 to 14 centimetres from the accessory carpal bone. And again, once we've optimised our image, freeze. And as you can see, that looks almost identical to that above, with the exception that all these structures are really just starting to become wider and thinner. What we can also do whilst we're here is take the longitudinal image. And again, the width of the, um, of the linear probe is probably about the width of, of those two regions together, just slightly short of that. So we probably only really need to take, take one or, or perhaps two stills in the longitudinal section through zone two. And again, as before, we align the fibers so they're nice and horizontal, and then freeze the image. As we had before, we've got superficial digital flexor tendon at the top, then deep digital flexor tendon. It can sometimes be a bit tricky to tell the two apart, um, although actually in this particular image, you can see they are, they are quite distinct there. Then we've got the uh, inferior check ligament, which is starting to, to thin out. Uh, we've got a blood vessel in there, and then, and then uh, we've got the uh, suspensory ligament below that. And right at the bottom of the screen there, again, you can just see the um, palmar border of the cannon, cannon bone in the shot there.